Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this toddler den. This is sort of updated a little bit because I will have the console keys all on the screen so console players can also make this easily um, because in my first build I didn't know any of the console buttons. So I'm going to go in with the 1.25 standard half wall. If you don't know where half walls are, they are just found under the walls and empty room section, they're just down here. And I'm going to do a two by two with another two by two coming off it. And then in this first one, I'm going to click on the room and I'm going to use these arrows where it says raise platform. So not this one, this is a foundation tool. And I've heard some people say they don't have this option. It could be because you still have the legacy version of the Sims 4, which basically helps computers that can run the Sims 4. It's not supposed to be available anymore, but if you haven't updated recently, because it was only a few months ago that they got rid of it. So bear that in mind, that's maybe why you don't have it. So I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to delete this centre wall now just because it makes the flooring look more seamless very soon. And then I'm also going to pin the platform a similar colour to what the flooring is. So I think that is the closest I can get. It's quite similar, not too far off. Is that too wrong? So I'm just going to grab a toddler bed, you can use any bed that you want. I really like the new base game ones, yes, I like this one because it is a very modern and I like modern stuff. So I'm just going to place that in there. Now I'm going to grab the stairs and I'm going to place them next to the bed. Obviously this can be made in any orientation that you wish, this is just the orientation that I like to do. I'm just going to place some stairs there. So next is adding the little doors. These are from Cats and Dogs or you can also get them in the My First Pet Stuff, My First Pet Stuff pack. But there is no point in getting that pack unless you have Cats and Dogs, unless you just want it for the door because a lot of the things aren't usable because a lot of the stuff is like dog and cat clothing. So if you don't have Cats and Dogs, you don't get it. So I'm going to go ahead and use the one that's my first pet stuff just because I like the modern looking door. I'm just going to go for that light wood to match the rest. So this can be placed anywhere on this section. You can place it on this side. You can even place it on this wall and well you can have two, this wall and this wall. And you can have like a living area on this side for your adult sims or the parents bedroom and the door could actually lead through for your toddler. Obviously, cats and dogs can also go, go through these doors. If you want to make for this, this for an infant, there is also these smaller versions, which infants can actually crawl through. You just have to teach your infant to crawl. Infants can climb upstairs though, so bear that in mind, they would just be able to go underneath. So right now is the best time to decorate in here, just because it's the easiest time. You can decorate afterwards. I'll show you how if you do want to change it up. I'm going to pop this base game little bear chair in here because it is super super adorable i'm just gonna place it in that corner there so let's make sure it's not in the way you can put any of the big toys in here so if i just go where's blaffy blaffy matches i'm gonna pop blaffy in here you will see he is a little bit too tall so i'm just sizing him down once and placing him in this corner and then you could pop some toys down here this is all totally usable i will show you at the end so now to create the faux roof, this is the bit to hide this. You could obviously keep it like this and be more like a player pen, but I want to create a faux roof here. So what we're going to do is go to the wall section and the fifth tool across is called the basement tool. We're going to click on that and make a basement that is this exact square. So just pull it across and it'll make a basement underneath for you. I'm going to use shells for this. There is something else you can use if you have eco lifestyle but i find the shells are actually better because you can get the color matching a little bit better so pick a shelf that is a similar color to the flooring we go down into this basement i'm going to size the shelf up twice it will stick out but it's fine i'm going to stick it out into the side where the platform is so the platform is on the side when we go upstairs so it's going to be hidden and i'm going to pull it to the top like this um, just by pulling it up and then I'm going to raise this shelf up by pressing the 9 key because I am on PC. Sometimes it's Control 9, sometimes it's Alt 9. I'll have all the buttons for console up on the screen for you because I know it might be different for console. Well, it will be different. 
and I did a pretty good guess there but it's not quite right but I think if I raise this once more it's going to be too high so what I'm going to do is just copy that shelf and go back down size it up and I know I want this to be slightly higher than before so I've raised it up one above that shelf that I've just placed and I'm going to hold alt which will give you free placement again for consoles I will have the buttons all down and I'm going to place this just above that shelf until I think it's sort of right and then go up and we can see ignore the glitching because we're going to get rid of that other shelf that is pretty good I could get it a little bit more accurate but I'm going to leave it at that for now so going back down into that basement I'm going to grab the shelf that is glitching and I'm just going to place this on the other side and we're just going to line this up it's a lot easier when you're already in the right place with the other one and just raise it up to match it again just above holding alt and to stop some glitching what I like to do is slightly off place it so when we go up we have a nice little floor you can obviously go through the colors to try find something that matches a little bit more accurate this is the closest I can get for this flooring some forms obviously won't work at all but you could always do a white bit or a black bit that's fine and now I'm going to show you how to decorate on here this will be totally decorative sims cannot walk on this because it is just a fake floor now I'm going to place down a dollhouse and yeah, again, this dollhouse is not going to be usable at all. But what we want to do is place the dollhouse in the basement. Because if I put it in here and raise this up, your sim won't be able to get in through that door because it's acting like it's in the way. So we put it in the basement because it is technically not in the way because it's in the basement. Going into the basement again, we're just raising this up. Till it is in the right place. And... Up there and you can see it up here it's not quite against the wall so i'm gonna go back down and just do some alt placing like i said this is not usable what you can do it now is create a little wall so your toddlers don't technically fall off if it is real life so there's a few ways you can do this you could go to the trims section and use a trim like so and just delete the bit where the same it goes in or if you don't have any of these um, trims because these are from packs you could just use a taller wall so if I just went in with this taller version of the wall here oops, and just leave the bit on the stairs so it sort of acts like a little bit of a safety barrier I know technically it's not needed in the sims but I like to make things look realistic and in my first version of this I didn't do this and again you can play in this trim because you might not like the way it looks. Trims I just found it down here and you can just put a white one on. So what about if you don't have um, any of the doggy doors? So there is a way to do this it is a little bit more tricky so what we're going to do is delete the door and delete that single bit there. This might not work for one with adding a trim on it. That might be the only problem. So you'd have to have it this height and I will show you why in a second. What we're going to do is use the base game archway. Um, find this. I'm using this base game archway and what we're going to do is go down into that basement again. And put the archway on at the place that you've just deleted and we're going to raise this up till it lines up with these shelves and then we're just going to come up and it sort of acts like a little bit of a doorway it's not absolutely perfect but it might actually work better That one works a little bit better so yeah this isn't absolutely perfect but it sort of acts more like a door and doesn't look as weird you just match your trim it to your door so since i'm using this white one i'm going to go ahead and use a white trim just to make it look a little bit better that is it for this build if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye